So what was it that attracted you to The Alienist? What was it that attracted me to The Alienist? Well, a lot of things. I mean, I was I read the first three episodes of the script. Then I met Jakob Brubruggen, who is a producer and director of the first three episodes, um, which is a really you know, important uh, role to play because you set up the the emotion and the energy and the, the theme of the of the show and uh, he he was a big factor in the reason why I said yes he also then you know we I found out that Daniel was going to play Chrysler and Dakota playing Sarah Howard and I just thought well this is a perfect mix of three very different actors um, playing some very interesting characters and 1896 New York City felt like an incredible backdrop for a story that was loved by millions in a book, so I thought the adaptation would be a great thing to do. Um, tell us more about your character and your involvement in the central murder mystery. Well, he's um, he is an illustrator for the New York Times. He's a highly functioning alcoholic. He's been jilted by his lover, his fiance, for another guy, and he's, he's struggling very hard to deal with it. He drinks an awful lot. He frequents brothels. He beats himself up emotionally about the situation. <laughs> he lost his brother at an early age, which is another huge issue that he's struggling to cope with. His best friend is a, 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 a psychologist doctor who is, thinks very differently to him, but they have a loyalty to each other. And he's drawn into this m murder, this murder investigation, and uh, very unwillingly is he brought into it. And he feels as a friend he has to stay part of it and he finds a purpose and he finds a reason to be there and it sort of works out for him but it's a very long and arduous route that he has to take to get to the the, the, the finale basically. Um, how was your experience filming with Dakota and Daniel and working in Budapest? Great I mean they're wonderful I mean they're, like I said they were part of one of the main reasons why I said yes to doing the show and um, they're, they're both very unique and very different and that's why I liked being part of this trio because they're they are they're very special and that the choice that body of work speaks for itself and Budapest I'd already shot a movie in Budapest loved it and really enjoyed the city and uh, so I was happy to go back we were lucky because we were there during the summer so the weather was nice although we were in tweed suits and I was absolutely boiling most of the time um, it was a perfect backdrop it's a it's a historically almost perfect city to shoot a movie about a show about New York City in 1896 the architecture is very similar the interiors of many of the old buildings have not been touched and they are stunning so they worked perfectly for our our show and we also had this incredible backlot which was a, the Lower East Side New York City which was I mean I've never seen anything like it and I've worked on some of the biggest movies of the last 10 years and some of them were they had sets that were breathtaking and this was no exception and this is television so it says a lot about television doesn't it